The Luminex LED front emblem that we have here today will be a great choice for the 2015 through 2017 F-150 owners who might be looking to black out that traditional blue oval while adding some very cool LED accent lighting in the process. Now this officially licensed Ford logo will deliver that cool blacked out look along with the super bright LED Ford lettering offer right around that $180 price point. Installation, on the other hand, will be a plug and play job to the fuse box, but will require the removal of that front grill in order to gain access to the emblem itself. So therefore, site is gonna kick things up to a middle of the road, two out of three wrenches on the difficulty meter, and call this one at least an hour to complete from start to finish, probably a little bit more, but nevertheless, guys, hang out with me for a bit, and we'll walk you through that job later in the video. So this is a cool product that I feel kills two birds with one stone, right? Now, on the surface, this emblem is going to change out that more traditional Ford blue oval emblem to a more sinister black emblem while still maintaining the white lettering. And this is a modification I think a lot of F-150 owners enjoy doing for obvious reasons. It just looks awesome. But there is more to this emblem than obviously meets the eye, right? Once powered up, that white Ford lettering comes to life thanks to the super bright LED lighting that shines at a 6500K color temperature, which is gonna be that bright white light with just the smallest touch of blue. But most importantly here, gang, it's going to be very bright. In fact, this is a perfect time to remind you guys, check out the customer submitted images here on the site, read up on those reviews because it's a great way to get a better idea of what the color temperature will look like for one, but just how bright this puppy will be once it's fired up. Now, as far as your materials and build are concerned, well, you're looking at a very durable polymer material, basically a hardcore plastic, which has been given a waterproof rating of an IP69K. Now that's the highest achievable, so therefore you're not gonna have to worry about those LEDs being affected by driving in a heavy rainstorm, or maybe if you take your truck off-roading quite a bit and you go mobbing through some deep puddles, Definitely not a concern here. Now, one very important thing to mention, guys, is that this particular option is only going to apply to the 2015 through 17 trucks without a forward-facing camera. So just one thing to keep in mind when looking at your different options here on the site. Also, while you're looking at different options on the site, if you really like what this particular emblem brings to the table as far as style and features, you can also grab a matching rear emblem, basically identical to this, just designated for the rear tailgate, of course, and it is available here at AT for a very similar price point as the front. But now we wanna get into the actual installation portion of the video. And again, the emblem itself will be plug and play with the fuse box in your F-150, but it is gonna require some legwork to get in place in the first place, right? You gotta remove that grill, swap out the emblems, run your wiring. So check out our detailed walkthrough and tool breakdown right now. The tools used for this install are a ratchet, clip removal tool, needle nose pliers, 10 millimeter socket, eight millimeter socket, seven millimeter socket, and a T30 Torx bit. So for the first step of this install, we're gonna to need to get the grill removed from the front of the vehicle so we can put it on the table and install our light kit and run our wires. It's a pretty simple process and you don't need a whole lot of tools to accomplish the job and I'm gonna walk you through the whole process. So let's get started. So I'm gonna start with my clip removal tool and pull out the clips that hold the upper rad cover on. This will gain access to the grill hardware so I can remove that and pull the grill off the truck. Next, I'm gonna use my clip tool again and a seven millimeter socket to remove the one clip and two screws that hold the headlight trim bezel onto the truck. Those two seven millimeter screws are located here at the corner of the wheel arch. I'll just use my seven mil socket to pull those out. Now I'll just repeat that process on the other side of the grill.
Now I can unplug my active shutter, my ambient air temperature sensor, and remove the four 10 millimeter bolts along the top of the grill. Now we can use our clip tool again to unclip the three clips along the side of the grill that hold the flexible air dam to the side. Ours is a little bit messed up here from having been removed so many times, but there are three here, one at the top, one in the middle, one at the bottom. Now I can take my eight millimeter socket and remove the two screws at the bottom corners of the grill, and I should be able to remove my grill after this. Now I'll just pull up and out and my grill should come right off. I'm gonna start by removing the four clips across the top of this grill here. I'm gonna use my clip tool again and just pop those out of place. Next, I'll take my 10 millimeter socket and remove the four 10 millimeter nuts located at each corner of the grill on the back side. And finally, with my T30 Torx socket, I'll remove the one screw that holds the two halves of the grill together and now I can separate the two halves. With the two halves separated, that exposes the hardware I'm gonna to need to remove the emblem from the grill. I'm gonna use my 10 mil socket and remove these three nuts. Now I can screw these supplied studs into the back of my light up emblem. And once I have those installed, I can fish my wire through the slotted hole in the grill. Flip it over and install my hardware. Now I can install the nuts that are supplied with the kit and tighten them down with an eight millimeter socket. So with my new emblem installed into my grill, I'm ready to reassemble the two halves of the grill together so I can put it back onto the truck. I have the wires running up towards the top where my connectors are for my active shutter and my ambient air temperature sensor. And I'll run my wires off of my fuse box along the wire harness for those two plugs. And it should all work out pretty well. So I'll start by reinstalling my T30 Torx bolt and then I'll move on to my four 10 millimeter nuts on the corners of the grill. Now I can reinstall the four clips across the top of the grill. And once I'm done that, I can move on to running my wires off of my fuse panel. So this kit provides you with the wiring that you'll need to tap into your fuse box and run it to your new emblem on your grill. And what they're gonna have you do is tap into fuse number 18, which is this 10 amp fuse right here. You'll just need a pair of needle nose pliers and you can gently grab that fuse and pull it out of the box. Once you have it out, now you can just insert the removed 10 amp fuse from the empty spot into the fuse tap here. And then you can install it back into the same fuse location. Now I'll just reinstall my fuse cover and I can run my wires up to my grill. 
So this kit provides you with the power wire that you'll need to run off of your fuse box up to your emblem. It also gives you the ground wire that you're going to need to hook up to your emblem as well. On one end of the wire is the hookup that you'll need to plug it into the new emblem, but on the other end is a bare wire. So what I did was crimped on an eyelet so that I can bolt this down to a chassis ground. Now you can run this to your battery or you can hardwire it into a ground circuit on your wire harness, but that's up to you. For this purpose, I'm just going to run this to a chassis ground and bolt it down. So I'll just fish this wire through the way I have my power wire run. And as you can see, I'm following along with the wire harness that's used for the ambient air temp sensor and the active shutter on the grill. And that way I can zip tie my new wire harness to an existing harness. And I'll just run this over to this chassis ground over here next to the battery. Now I'm just going to zip tie my wires into place along the existing wire harness and that should keep everything secure and out of the way. Now I'm just gonna use my eight millimeter socket to remove this bolt for the chassis ground and I'm gonna hook my ground up to that. Now that I have all my wires run and secured in place, I can start reinstalling my grill with the factory hardware. I'll start with my four 10 millimeter bolts across the top of the grill and move on to my eight mils at the bottom corners. Now I can clip in my flexible air dam on the sides of the grill and reinstall my headlight trim. Now I can use my seven millimeter socket to reinstall the two seven millimeter screws on each wheel well. Now I can make the connections for my emblem as well as my active shutter and my ambient air temp sensor. Once I have those connected, I can reinstall my rad cover and all my clips. Finally, I can just reinstall all the clips that hold my rad cover into place and wrap this install up. And that's going to wrap up this review and install of the Luminix LED front emblem fitting your 2015 to 2017 F-150 without forward-facing cameras. Thank you for watching and for all things F-150, keep it right here at americantrucks.com.